If we want to add a digital to analog converter or DAC to our hi-fi system, maybe improve our current digital sources, and we don't want anything more than that, then what we need is a standalone DAC. And here I have the cutest DAC from Cord Electronics. Unlike most manufacturers of DACs, Cord don't use off-the-shelf DAC chips. They prefer to use their own FPGA chips. This is a special type of chip that can be programmed with code to perform to their desired requirements. One thing that's always talked about in Cord circles is how many gates or taps the DAC has. The greater the number, typically the better the DAC tends to sound and the Qtus has taken the number of taps up from the 2Q DAC to around 50,000. This DAC handles all the usual PCM, CD and high res quality formats as well as DSD but it won't deal with MQA which isn't the technology that Cord believe in. When buying this DAC it's a DAC that you buy based on the DAC not on the format issues. Any improvements between DACs can easily outstrip the quality of different formats. So if you're into MQA and you want full unfolds of the MQA file, consider first the quality of the DAC that you're getting above file and format matters. Okay, so to connect this up, we need to connect the USB into there. Um, and then I'm connecting up one of the BNC coaxial cables here, I've got an adapter on one of these, and then the left and right pair to our preamp, and then we just plug in the 5, five volt power supply, making sure I'm doing it the right way around. One of the good things about this DAC is that it is pretty easy to use. I mean, obviously there's only a couple of buttons on the front. We've got a filter which changes filter settings and slightly modifies sound quality to each setting. And then an input button which changes to our various sources. It's easy as that. It's a step up from the previous 2Q in terms of resolution, bass punch and just the amount of draw of detail it achieves from the music. What you also tend to notice with the Qtist is the level of authority it has over other DACs, both in terms of its detail resolution, how much it can pull out of the recording and its bass response and it's a very thick sounding DAC that seems to punch so much for its price. What's also very surprising is that at this price I'd put it at about 70 to 80 percent of the performance of Chords range topping Dave DAC, which is no mean feat. And for about a seventh or eight for the price, it's extremely good value for money. It's not as if there's anything really bad about it that if you put it into a system, it's going to really affect the balance of the system or change the sound in an adverse way. It's really going to just fit in and, and, it, and that's what it seems to do really, really well in this system. And from what I've heard, it, it does the same in, in pretty much all systems too. A lot of reviewers have this DAC as being about the best that you can buy under £2,000 or $2,000. And judging by the fact that I've tried it against DACs around that type of price, it easily outclipses most of them. And you couldn't really get a better DAC for the money, I don't think. Oh,